a Java expert. In today's video, we will discuss about RabbitMQ and we will see how to use RabbitMQ in Spring Boot. What is RabbitMQ? RabbitMQ is a message broker. In simple word, it accepts the message from the sender and forward to the receiver. The same as how other messaging systems are working like Apache Kafka or IBMMQ. So Rabbit MQ also so one another messaging system which we can use it for integrations. Rabbit MQ implements the advanced message queuing protocol. Rabbit MQ mainly consists of three components: one is producer, broker, and consumer. Producer means nothing but a sender, broker which holds the messages, and consumer who is going to receive the message from the Rabbit MQ. We have a different ways of creating messaging application using RabbitMQ. So those are direct messaging, work queue, publish, subscribe, routing, topics, remote procedure call, publisher confirm. So I'll give very quick introduction about each of this. Direct messaging is nothing but a direct uh, communication between a sender to receiver. In between, we have a queue. Basically, sender will send the message to queue and receiver will pick up the message from the the particular queue. The next one is work queue, whereas we have one sender and receiver will have more than one receivers like a working nodes, right? And publish and subscribe, sending messages to many consumer at once. Uh, like we have one sender and we have many consumers, and the same message will be sent to all the consumers. So when we have that kind of use case, we have to pick up publish and subscribe model. Routing, receiving messages, messages selectively. So, in routing concept, we will have an exchange in between the queue and sender. Basically, sender will send the message to exchange. There is a concept called exchange in the RabbitMQ. So, sender will send the message to exchange with queue details along with it will mention the routing key. Basically, okay. So, based on the routing key, exchange will forward the message to the corresponding queues, right? So each queue will be binded with exchange with some routing key. So based on the routing key, the message will be forwarded from exchange to queues. Topics. Receiving message based on a pattern. It, topics are also similar to routing only, but in routing will have a fixed, uh, no, full qualified uh, routing kind of thing we will have. Patterns, sorry, in topics will have a pattern matching kind of thing. Right? It's not X and a complete uh, word. Based on the pattern, it will be forwarded to the Use. So that's the difference between routing and topics. Next one is remote processor call. It is a synchronized call where uh, it will invoke the remote method and it will get the response. So that's called request and reply pattern. And last one is publisher confirm. It is to when you want reliability between the per sender and the broker where you can pick up the publisher confirm uh, method. Here, broker will provide the acknowledgement to the publisher once the message is successfully published. Right. So these all are the you know, different way of implementing RabbitMQ. So based on your use case, based on your business requirement, we can pick up any one of this one and we can implement it. So in our today's session, in our today's practical session, we have to pick up the first one, very simple one, direct messaging. So that this is the one we are going to demonstrate in the practical session. We are going to create one producer going to create one consumer and we are going to create a queue and producer will you know, publish the message to queue and consumer will pick it up from there. So this is what we are going to demonstrate. It's going to be very simple. Now so these are the steps you know, we have to follow to install the RabbitMQ in your Windows system. So first step download the uh, Erlang from below URL. So you can use this URL and directly download the Erlang uh, software and install it in your local machine. And next, you can download the RabbitMQ service, RabbitMQ from the below URL and install it. Once you are done both steps, and next step is go to the uh, home directory of the uh, RabbitMQ and run this command. So you have to in this command. This is to enable the RabbitMQ management console. So I entered the command. So it is enabled now. Once this is done, then we will start the service. So you have to start the service using the 
this fourth step command type it service dot back and paste start so this is the command you have to use to start the rabbit mq service so i am starting the service now yeah now service is successfully started next step is we will go to browser and enter this url localhost 15672 port then you can able to see the rabbitmq dashboard and the default credential is username is guest password is guest let's go to browser and we'll, we'll see this one so once you enter the url localhost 15672 port it will ask me for username and password let's provide guest guest and enter and you can able to see the RabbitMQ dashboard page so here you can able to see the uh, list of tabs like overview connections all those things just go to queues and here you can able to see there's a one queue called java export which is already created so it is displaying here so we will use the same queue for our uh, otherwise i will show you how to create a new queue so here there's an option called add new queue Ex expand that here it will ask for few parameters so keep it everything in default value just provide the queue name alone i'll provide mq demo so there's a queue name i'm providing mq demo add queue that's it so new queue is added here so adding queue is very simple so once we have added the queue now we are ready to start our coding to integrate our spring boot with rabbit mq let's begin so we'll create a Spring Boot project. Your name is Rabbit MQ Demo. Just fill the details as well. This so Rabbit MQ Demo. Next. So here we need two dependencies one is Spring Web and rabbit uh, spring for rabbit mq so i'm starting these two dependencies next finish so let's wait for some time to create to generate our project so project is ready now so we'll go and create i'll require libraries and classes New package under is receiver to config, and that's it. So now we'll create configuration class first. So, how to create a queue? Here we have to provide the queue name. We have given MQ demo. This is the name we provided. So, I'll give the same name here. We'll do input. So now our queue is created. Now let's go to our uh, receiver. New class to receiver. Here we write a method. Page. So our payload will 
to right here. So what you're going to do is we're going to receive the message in this method and we're going to print it. That's it. So this one we have to annotate with rabbit. And here we have to provide the who name. demo so this receiver will receive the messages from this particular queue mq demo queue okay so uh, now our receiver is ready go to sender for that it's going to be different. anyway go to sender As to sender component. Now we need a queue object here. Provide now provide message so here and we have one more object called habit template auto wired template habit template dot convert and method called convert Convert and send, and here we have to provide the queue name and message. So we have a message and the queue name we will get from this dot dot name. So this will return our queue name mq underscore demo that will return here. So we are providing queue name and message. Now send message sender also ready. Now we have to write on controller and from there we will call this send message. So actual one. I'm writing the controller in the main class itself. Controller. We need a sender object here. In message so here written uh, we will return one static string Pointers and mapping right so now we have to enable one thing that is enable 
grab it. So this is another reason we have to use it. So now we have enabled Rabbit MQ configurations in our application. So we have written two packages. One is for sender and another one is for receiver. And in sender package we wrote one class where we have a sending logic we wrote. And in the receiver side we wrote one method. And uh, just we have received the message and we are printing it in the console. And there is a configuration class we wrote. Just we are creating the queue. This will be used at the sender side. We are just providing the queue name here. And we wrote one endpoint from there. You now it will be uh, sender object, sender method will be initiated from. So now we have to provide certain configurations where the MQ service is running, those things we have to mention. So here, go to our application property file, string dot habit MQ dot host. So this will be our local host and spring dot. Rabbit MQ dot port the service will run in five six seven two. This is the port. Next ping dot habit dot username you have to provide. Username is default as yes. Dpst. Password default password is dpst. So that's it. So I think we almost have done everything. We are going to test our application now. Let's start the application. We are starting the application now. Yeah, the application started successfully. So once it started, just go to our console, um, RabbitMQ console. Here you can able to see one thing. Open that. Click on MQ message, MQ, sorry, the Q name which I used, MQ underscore demo. Here you can identify one thing. There's a consumer since uh, the listener is pointed to this one, right? So you can able to the consumer. The application is down, the consumer count will be zero. Since one listener is pointed to this Q, basically one listener is listening to this Q here, it is why one consumer. Right. Now let's you know initiate the request through postman. Postman, and we will test this one. Enter the uh, URL which you configured in the code. Like we are not mentioning any explicit port for application, so it will be running with 8080. And set mapping is the endpoint we have provided. The body. So we are not going to provide any uh, JSON format since we are mentioning string over there. So we are going to give the text. So we are mentioning capitmq uh, message. We can send. So we are getting message probably successfully. Let's go to console. Yes, from the receiver side, we are getting the message here. Received message, RabbitMQ message. We'll provide one more thing. Two message. Yes, I get one more thing also. Now I'll go to console. Uh, you can see there's a graph here. It will be showing you the, the payload, how many messages. Get. So it is showing the, uh, the graph, it will show the load of the particular queue. So, so we, have, we have pushed two messages, so you can able to see it here. Right. So this is the uh, RabbitMQ impl implementation you know, uh, using Spring Boot. And we are used to direct message option. It's going to be a very simple one. We are not, we not, no, not required of much configuration for this. We have just created three classes. One is config, you get a queue, and the sender receiver and the controller that's it so we have demonstrated how rabbit mq can be used in spring boot right so i'll give you one more uh, link uh, in the description so you can able to read about all the different uh, messaging uh, options whatever you have discussed right like topic router all those things so i'll give the uh, rabbit mq documentation url so you can able to go through there we have find lot of examples also over there so you can implement your uh, your own and you can enjoy how it works right so that's it guys i hope you enjoy this session i'll see you in some other video soon thank you